Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to uninstall Jenkins. Let me answer. In order to uninstall Jenkins, we have to remove this .jenkins folder from users folder in our computer. Okay. So to practically demonstrate how to uninstall Jenkins in this machine, you should have already installed Jenkins in your machine. Okay. Jenkins is already there in your machine. Okay. We can uninstall it. So in my machine, Jenkins is already installed. To prove you that Jenkins is already installed in my machine, I'm going to show you how to start Jenkins. So I'll go to this uh, downloads folder where this uh, Jenkins.war file is available. Here I'll simply say CMD and uh, the command prompt will launch from here. Okay. And to start this Jenkins, which is already there in my machine, already installed in my machine, I just need to type this command Java and jar. The name of this file is Jenkins and the extension of this file is .war and press enter. The moment you press enter, you will see that Jenkins will start. Okay. So if already installed, it will simply say that Jenkins is fully up and running. It will take a while for this logs to come. So all these log messages are coming. At the end of the log messages, you will get a message saying Jenkins is fully up and running. If you get that message means Jenkins is already installed in your machine and it has just started using this command. Okay. So let's wait uh, for that uh, statement to appear. Well, we are almost there and uh, it will get displayed. Yeah. Now you got the message Jenkins is fully up and running. This proves that Jenkins is already installed in our machine. Now how to uninstall Jenkins. Okay. If it is already there in your machine. Using this command, you can find out if you are getting this message that uh, Jenkins is fully up and running, it's, it means that Jenkins is already installed. Now I'll close this command prompt. What I will do here to uninstall Jenkins is I'll simply go to my C drive. In my C drive, I'll go to this users folder. Okay. In users folder, whatever the username, current active username folder is there, go inside that. In my case, this is a username folder. And in that, you will find a folder known as dot Jenkins. Okay. It will contain all the files about Jenkins, uh, its installation plugins and all those things. Okay. Simply select this file and press delete key, uh, keyboard key. Okay. Just press delete on your keyboard, delete key on your keyboard. Then what happens is Jenkins folder will get deleted. Once it gets deleted, Jenkins will get uninstalled. How can I prove you that Jenkins got uninstalled successfully? This time, when you try to start Jenkins using the same Jenkins.war file after deleting the dot Jenkins. When you try to start Jenkins using this Jenkins.war file, instead of starting, it will give you a password. Okay. It will not start the Jenkins directly. Rather, it will give you a pa password to install Jenkins in your machine. Okay. Same command I'll give Java iPhone jar at the same downloads location where Jenkins.war file is available. Give Jenkins.war and press enter. This time you will see that it will not say Jenkins is fully up and running. Okay. Rather, it will give you a password to set up Jenkins and install Jenkins in your machine. So that dot Jenkins folder, if you delete, Jenkins will get uninstalled from our machine. Okay. You see, this time we got the password. Okay. You see, please use the following password to proceed to installation. That means Jenkins got uninstalled successfully. The moment you deleted that, dot Jenkins folders from the users folder, Jenkins got uninstalled. So hope guys, you understood how to uninstall Jenkins. Okay. In this session with practical demonstration and how to answer this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.